Hi guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to clean your makeup brushes. So the first thing you're going to need are obviously some very dirty brushes. The next thing you're going to need is a makeup brush formula cleaner. And this is one that I made myself. As you can see, it's just in a small spray bottle. And I made this with some very simple ingredients that you can find around your house and will probably have. And I will have a video up on that next week to show you how I make this um, product. You can buy this from a shop, however, but it is fairly expensive for the amount of products you get. Okay, so you're going to need your brushes, your makeup formula cleaner thing, and some running water or a bowl. Okay, so I'm going to be sitting, I'm going to be using running water. You're going to want to make sure that your water isn't hot, but is fairly, fairly warm. So you're just going to turn it um, so then it's warm. And then obviously if you're using a bowl, just make sure the bowl of water is warm. If you are using um, your bowl of water to clean more than 10 brushes, like I am here, then you're going to be wanting to um, change out the water every 10 brushes or, sh or so. If you are just using um, the running tap water, you can just carry on as much as normal, or you can fill up the basin of the sink with some running with some water as well. Okay, so first off, you're going to just want to wet your brushes, like so. Get your formula and just spritz the makeup brush. You can turn your water off for this if you want to. Then you're just going to want to rub around the makeup brushes. Try not to damage them too much. As you can see in the sink, all the makeup is coming out of these brushes. All just dripping out. And that is really how simple it is. Then you're just going to wash out the brush. And repeat this step. Make sure to get really into the brush. And again, just rub into the brush like you would do if you were washing your hair or something like that. And remember to be fairly gentle with the brushes, you don't want to ruin them. Okay, and then rinse the brushes again. Okay, then just simply just squeeze off any excess water, fluff the brush on your hand like so, and place it in a cup. Right, the other thing that you're going to want to know is if your brushes are made of plastic or metal, like mine are, mine are made of plastic, and um, are fairly well put together, like they're not falling apart or anything like that, then you can stand them up like this, but make sure that they stand at a quite an angle. You don't want them standing up completely straight. So you're going to want to stand them like that. If you don't have a brush, you can just stand them like this in the sink, which is what I'm going to be doing on the other side. If your brushes are wood, I do recommend never getting this part wet because it will rot the wood and it can make it very susceptible to breaking and your bristles will fall out of the brush and they can be very hard to replace. You're probably going to have to have a new brush kit if you have wood brushes after only 12 months. Whereas normal brushes like these, which are plastic or metal, are not so susceptible to breaking or rotting. And these will last you maybe a year, maybe even longer than that. Um, I have had these brushes for over a year now. They are still in perfect condition and I think that they will fare me well for the next five years or so. Um, that one was with a medium sized brush. I'm now going to show you with a um, like medium to large size brush on how you clean those. You just want to soak it all the way through, like so. Spritz it. Get 
deep inside there and just empty out all of the makeup. Washing your brushes has great benefits. It can um, stop acne, it stops the spread of bacteria along your face and also if you're sick, if you get a cold or anything like that, you must remember to wash your makeup brushes as soon as you feel better because there's bacteria that could be on your makeup brushes from when you breathe or sneeze or just wiping it on your face. It can have really negative effects. It can prolong illness and it can also make you feel worse than normal. So do remember to try and clean your makeup brushes on a regular basis. Also, if you're a makeup artist, when, well, you should already know how to do this, but if you are thinking about becoming a makeup artist or are already a makeup artist, you must remember to always wash your brushes after every single client. The spread of bacteria will be horrific if you do not wash them. I'm going to show you now on this large fluffy brush. These ones are a little bit more difficult to clean um, as you really need to get deep inside that brush. I've had this brush for about six years now and as you can see it's different to the rest of my set. It's a glass one but it still works for me perfectly because I wash it. You're going to want to do these ones twice, just because of their size. And that one's done. I'm now going to show you on um, a very small fluffy brush like this one. These ones are fairly easy, um, they don't really need to go through twice, you can simply just do this and you can see the colour coming out of them already and then just spritz it with water. However if you do notice that there is colour coming out of it then you must try and do it again. Um, this one has no colour coming out of it anymore so that's how you know they're clean. You have angled brushes which you will just do exactly the same way. As you can see this one has a quite a stain, a stain on it which was from green makeup that I had to do for um, a show once. Because I don't use this one every day I haven't bothered brush washing it but that stain I don't think will come out very easily. Do try and be careful with your makeup brushes not to stain them. Okay, just like that. Then you've got small fluffy brushes like these, which are um, just regular eyeshadow brushes which are very easy to clean. You just spritz and wipe. And that is basically everything that you need to do with those. However, the only difference is for flat brushes like these ones, this one's already clean, but I'm going to show you anyway. Flat brushes like these ones, really tiny fluffy brushes like this one. Lip pencil brushes and very thin angled brushes and anything that you use to do um, eyeliner or, um, or your eyebrows with, this is how you clean these ones. You fill up your glass a little way so it's only full up to about here 
You are then going to dip all of your brushes in the gloves, like so. You are then going to spritz each one of them. And then you're going to rinse in the cup. You can do this individually or all together, like I'm doing. If you've got very great colour differences, you can do them solo and do that. Or you can do them in a group. You should uh, wash lip brushes after every use because colours vary and bacteria is especially present on those ones. And once you've done that, you're just going to want to rinse each one of them. As you can see how tiny this brush is. Dropped it. This one's going to need a little bit of an extra spritz. I'm going to sign these ones in the cup because otherwise they're going to fall on the floor or they're going to fall down the drain. Brushes are going to need an extra spritz as well. The last one I'm going to show you is how to clean brushes that are like these. They're like mascara brushes um, or eyebrow brush brushes, and you're just going to want to rinse them under the water them a little spritz or two but that isn't really important with these ones rinsing under the water is sufficient and then just rinse and it's not brown anymore it's black and that is how you wash your makeup brushes the rest of my make makeup brushes aren't dirty they're quite clean um, except for these two that need a little bit of a rinse. One of them is a concealer brush and one of them is a regular um, eyeshadow buffer brush. You can use this for any type of brush. Um, you can use it for fluffy brushes like I did with these. You can use them for fan brushes like this one, or you can use it for styling brushes like this one or even foundation brushes like this one. I hope you enjoyed my video guys and let me know in the comments if this has helped you. I will be posting a video up showing you how to make my formula and I'm also going to show you how to clean beauty blenders. So stay tuned for that guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!